And now, Father, glorify thou me in thy own presence with the glory which I had with thee before the world was made. John 17, verse 5, from the Revised Standard Version. While God's word speaks of the humanity of Christ when upon this earth, it also speaks decidedly regarding his pre-existence. The word existed as a divine being, even as the eternal Son of God, in union and oneness with his Father. From everlasting, he was the mediator of the covenant, the one in whom all nations of the earth, both Jews and Gentiles, if they accepted him, were to be blessed. The word was with God and the word was God. Before men or angels were created, the word was with God and was God. The world was made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. If Christ made all things, he existed before all things. The words spoken in regard to this are so decisive that no one need be left in doubt. Christ was God, essentially, and in the highest sense. He was with God from all eternity, God over all, blessed evermore. The Lord Jesus Christ, the divine Son of God, existed from eternity, a distinct person, yet one with the Father. He was the surpassing glory of heaven. He was the commander of the heavenly intelligences, and the adorning homage of the angels was received by him as his right. This was no robbery of God. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, he declares. Before his works of old, I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths. There are light and glory in the truth that Christ was one with the Father before the foundation of the world was laid. This is the light shining in a dark place, making it resplendent with divine original glory. This truth, infinitely mysterious in itself, explains other mysterious and otherwise unexplainable truths, while it is enshrined in light, unapproachable, and incomprehensible.